This is ADT 1160U, Digital Communication Technologies. The title for this particular video clip is Function-Based Networking versus Task-Based Networking. In the recent years, networking has become quite an important buzzword in all strands of society. Young children connect with their circles of friends on various social networks. Professionals are connecting with people who have similar skills and ambitions. Businesses are connecting with their customers, potential customers, and other businesses. Schools are getting connected with one another. Nonprofit organizations are connecting their communities together. People with similar interests are connecting, whether it be a passion for motorcycle riding, music, collections, there is a way to get groups of people together with digital communication technologies, no matter where they live or at what time of day they live. Networking has become so important that it has integrated into face-to-face -face conversations. People have come to talk about what one posts on X networks or on X site. Classifies ads have moved onto these networks. Party invites are being sent through social networks. Jobs are being posted on social networks. And even more importantly, headhunters are looking for potential hirees on social networks. Such conversations have sparked the attention of many people. In this video, we'll analyze Mary's foray on social networks. The analysis questions for this particular video clip are as follows. Why is it difficult for certain people to start networking? What is function-based networking? What is task-based networking? You will recall that Mary is the director of the language school who mandated Pierre and Joe, her two young employees, to find online learning solutions. She decided that it was time to become active in social networks. So she decides to go on LinkedIn and she tries to create her profile because she heard that this is where professionals go or this is the social network that professionals use to reach out to other professionals. As soon as she has created her login, ID and password, the system prompts her to potential contacts. This gives her the creeps, as these contacts are people she knows, or people she heard about. She tries to bypass this step because she wants to create her CV before she connects with people, but she doesn't know how to do so, so she logs out and decides to return another time. On a second occasion, Mary tries to do her CV again, but this time LinkedIn prompts her to adding jobs she doesn't want to add on her CV or to show collaborations with people she doesn't really want to show on her network from her past life when she was a library technician. She doesn't understand what's going on and certainly wonders how these people found her without her adding any info on her account. What is going on here exactly? Mary wants to create her profile on a social network thinking that she can add her CV and then connect with people. The network, however, functions differently. It wants her to put minimal info, then it wants her to connect immediately without having all the information she wants ready for her connections. Mary's idea was function-based. She wanted to network in a traditional way that she knew. She wanted to prepare the information, set it up, then attract people to her network. The problem is that Mary is not looking for employees, nor is she looking for a job. She wants to connect for the sake of connecting. The truth is, with social networks, the idea is to evolve through your network and feeding information to your network shows that something is going on in your life. People will comment or congratulate you on a new position. When you change your profile picture, people will look at what's going on with you. When you comment on an article, people will get interested in what you have to say. It is a form of microblogging a form of communication that allows users to post or read short messages frequently. All the small life events take importance in networks. Networks are not static and networks are never finished. It is not possible to network just for the sake of networking and hope that an hour on a network will attract much attention to you. Networks need to be fed with interaction and they survive because every day Several times a day, people do things inside networks. Networks are fundamentally task-based. The synthesis questions for this particular video clip are as follows. Why was Mary's adventure on LinkedIn so problematic? 
How should Mary proceed to get connected? What purpose does microblogging serve? Do you have any similar adventures on social networks you want to share?